Welcome to Stretcher Ops 101. I'm your host, Jacob Berman, and today we will be going over how to properly remove the stretcher from the ambulance. First thing you need to know is that it requires two people, especially with a patient present, to properly operate the stretcher. One person at the foot of the stretcher, and the other person at the side. Let's take a closer look at what's going on. The first step is to push in the red release bars that move the stretcher. Then, start to slowly pull out the stretcher, remembering to keep it straight in the center of the ambulance the whole time. As the back of the stretcher approaches the edge, it's important to note that the catch never actually engages. This is a safety mechanism, and is not meant to be the point at which you are ready to drop the wheels. Your assistant should be watching the main wheels and back wheels to tell you when it is pulled out far enough to drop. Once your assistant says that you have pulled it out far enough, pull the red handles, while the assistant guides the wheels towards the ground. After the wheels are safely on the ground, and the red handles are no longer engaged, your assistant must reach around to the back of the stretcher to lift up the handle, so the stretcher can be pulled out all the way. Now, there are a few important things to note about putting the stretcher back into the ambulance. Once you have safely placed the back of the stretcher on the floor of the ambulance, lift and guide the stretcher into the bars in the back. Typically, this process only requires two people, but it is often difficult with the added weight of a patient to steer through bars. If this occurs, use the third person to guide the stretcher from the inside of the ambulance. These are a few things not to do. In this first scenario, the stretcher is pulled out very quickly and engages the latch at the end. If there was a malfunction with the latch, the next scenario will occur. In this scene, the stretcher is too far over to the right side, misses the latch, and falls down the step below. This can be very harmful to the patient, and it can fall all the way to the ground in some scenarios. Here, the stretcher, when being pulled out, is not held high enough, putting all the weight on the wheels in the middle. When the wheels in the middle go off the back, the stretcher drops down, which can lead to the increased patient anxiety and potentially dropping the stretcher on the patient. This scenario occurs most often when people attempt to pull out the stretcher with the top bars rather than the bars at the bottom. It is much easier to lift the stretcher up higher when holding the lower bars. While it's always nice to stand into Andrew's eyes, it is imperative for patient care to have one person positioned at the foot of the stretcher and one on the side of the stretcher for safety um, and efficiency when removing it from the ambulance. Finally, it is important to utilize all the resources available to you when unloading the stretcher from the ambulance for the patient's well-being and your own. Here you can see the large potential for error in this method. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for Bleeding. What's the deal with that?